Hello and welcome back to survival mode, which means it is of course a Friday. What I've been doing between videos is finishing off the base a little bit, because it would be a little bit boring to watch me place all these blocks, but I will just quickly take on a small tour. So let's go down here first. So this is a landing pad from before, just make sure I've got a jetpack. So that's a landing pad where I'm building my hydrogen ship. I've connected it up with a connector that's going underneath the base and will connect to the large cargo container. Below here is my little small vehicle parking spot. Got a little ramp for it to go up and we've got some covers which are just stopping it from going over the edge although I don't think I'll actually help if I was going at full speed but it just makes it look nice. I have this small area over here which is just a window where you can walk up it. There's a conveyor there because I was planning to put a cargo container just to make it easier to unload stuff. So I just put that stuff in the container and it'll just all pull it through to the main one. Yes, that's my little docking pad for the hydrogen and the small land vehicle. Coming around here, let's go inside first. I built a small little safety rail there, although it's not much use considering I just walk off the edge there. But going through here, I have placed a door. I have got a chair. One little chair which will allow me to regenerate my suit's energy because it saves me having to press that button all the time. Yes, out of the chair I've moved Bob up against out the wall just to make it a little bit easier. The build and repair system is doing quite well. It's getting there. I've got a fair amount of resources in my car containers but yes. Through here we've got some more uh, windows for us to look out uh, down there. A nice little doorway thing which should look a lot better once it's all built. But yes, two doors to come along here with some nice catwalks to the uh, building area. Coming through here we have some more doors which will then go to the landing pad for the uh, dingle copter. Which, luckily, has got some nice amount of resources in it because I did do some gathering from the old ore patch. And then on the roof I have got a solar panel, I've moved it properly, added a second one there which should generate enough power. I have moved the wind turbine finally and it's generating a good amount of power as the actual console tells me to. I did forget about that little- oh dear what have I done there? Never mind eh? Yes coming down underneath you can see the conveyor which goes over to where my hydrogen ship is going to be built. The hydrogen ship will need a name so leave some names in the comment section below and I'll just choose one. But yes that is basically it for the base. In this video I'm going to be finishing off the hydrogen ship because next time I want to actually go to space. So this video will be just building this ship. It's also very handy that there's an ice patch right over here. If I was to come around to my tab number one, come over to here, you can see this small little mine that I've been making. It goes quite far down, putting my lights on. We go through some uh, silicon and then we have a small little ice patch. It's not going to be enough to actually build the hydrogen ship and get to space. But it's a start basically. It's enough for me to regenerate my hydrogen bottle so I can just scoot around on my jetpack. Now it's time to get to building my lovely ship. So that means the poor old build and repair system, if I can find the control panel, will need to be shut off so it doesn't steal any of my resources. So I've queued up a fair amount of resources here. Should be enough to get everything done. But yes, bring them across. Now it's time to uh, start planning. Between videos I'll let the build and repair thing just continue on with the base. I have enough resources there, I've got enough iron, I've got some spare iron in the dingle copter over there and I could probably just go over there if I really needed to. Still no signs of any wolves, I have checked it in the world setting, they are enabled. There are no wolves anywhere, I guess they just don't like me or they keep falling to their death, it's one or the other. So yes, I have sort of completed the floor here to make it easier to see the design of this ship. We have got four hydrogen tanks, two large cargo containers I believe, yes, let's just uh, hide that. We've got two large cargo containers, we've got some O2 H2 generators, we've got a fighter cockpit, conveyors in the middle, so that would mean that I would need to have some hydrogen thrusters. Now I'm not going to have the exploding hydrogen thrust, in fact do I even have these unlocked? This might be a problem if I don't have them unlocked. So the... Oh dear. I need to actually build the hydrogen tank to get the thrusters. Great. And now it's just computers. Once that's done, I can finally... Finally? No, finally put the thrusters on this. And 
Well, it should start taking shape. Putting that back in there. Taking out the computers. I'm quite hesitant at putting any armoured blocks on this because... I know there are pirates that are roaming around in space, but if I'm going close to asteroids, then it should be all right. That should be the hydrogen thrusters now. Yay! So what if I come across like this, like that, build a corner on both sides, come across to a straight like that. This is never gonna fly. And then, a conveyor junction right there. And then from here, I could build a... If that, can that actually hook on, please? What is wrong here? There we go. One like that. One like that. Oh, this is not going to go well, is it? This is going to sacrifice cargo containers to the clang. Oh, missed that one. If I come across then... Hmm, I don't quite know how I want to do this. What about if I went like this? You'll see what I'm going to do in a second. Like that. Bring back the cargo container, the large cargo container. Just double check this, make sure I'm putting in this in the right place. And I've got to put this on there. That's not going to go wrong at all. Nope, that's going to be perfectly safe to do. That's kind of a ship, don't you think? <laughs> An absolute monstrosity. Gyroscopes! I forgot about the gyroscopes. But then again, batteries. Where do I want to put the batteries on this? I might put uh, several batteries on this. So like one there. Oh, but I want oxygen. No, oxygen will be fine. Overkill on the batteries. And then from there, I'll need to have a gyroscope. The gyroscope, I think, can just sit on top of that. Then I'll need to have a, a large one that can sit there. Totally fine. Unable to place it. Okay, so I will need to place the gyroscopes. Oh, I can place it like that. One there. One there. A small reactor there and a small reactor there so yes this is the end of the video that is the completed hydrogen ship if you kind of get what I mean it's not fully built but that is how it's going to be I shall now spend the next hour or so building this or just letting Bob just go through all the resources I might just do that and tab out that is my hydrogen ship next week we're going to be flying this to space in search of uranium or oh, I'll be crashing back down to the planet in a fireball and uh, dying so yes thank you all for watching and I'll be back with another survival video next Friday bye bye